So we finally hit deload week. I was uh, definitely ready for it. Uh, weights are still moving better week over week. So getting up to a 115 snatch for the snatch complex, even give you a, a quick little dab here. Uh, so this is a lot better feeling than week one. Just chipping away. Squats are starting to move up. 160 is starting to feel a little easier. So we got up to 170 today for the top set. Day two, clean day. So I ended up getting 140 power clean power turf. Uh, and then moving on to just three sets. So a triple, a double, and a single. So 145, 155, and then 163. 163 was actually only supposed to be 160, but uh, in my head I wrote 163. So I'm, I'm happy with getting 163 on a deload week, just chipping the weights away. The cleans are moving faster than they feel like uh, they definitely feel very slow. Session three was uh, <laughs> was really feeling the readiness for a deload. Uh, the hang power snatches uh, were not very power snatchy. We ended up missing the last rep of the third set. Just out front was like, oh boy, that feels like trash. But that's okay because by the end of the week, we're gonna feel better and we're gonna move forward from there. And that's what we did. for the jerks, uh, we've been getting a little frustrated. The hit feels a lot better than it did week one. So we're actually able to dip a lot straighter, but I'm just driving everything forward. Ended up missing my uh, first set at my working weight at 145. Uh, so I just pulled it back, set up the jerk jail. So something I learned from Spencer when I was with him is uh, putting a block behind you. So if you reach too far, your foot hits the block. Now, he said to use a cardboard box or like a shoe box. And one day I forgot my shoe box. And so I put like a jerk block or a pulling block behind me. And it immediately made it so much better, so much faster. And the fear of death just, just really took over. So I've been using a block block uh, ever since. Uh, if I hit it, I get pushed forward and I drop the weight. Uh, if when I was using the shoe box, I tended just to hit it out of the way and and it didn't quite have the transfer as having something that you think might hurt you. Ended up going to 150 triple front squat. That was, uh, it moves so much faster than it feels in the moment. And we made it to big Saturday morning, so I had a couple friends from Saskatchewan show up, uh, and then my friend Mitch uh, came out. So we had a whole little squad going. I ended up hitting a 10 kilo block power snatch PR, or power snatch just in any position, which was sick. We ended up talking about how 
<laughs> Some people may do a power and then miss the full. So immediately after having that conversation, uh, that's what I did. I missed the, the next weight at 125. Oh, yeah. Then hit it. Come on. Uh, it went up to 130. 130. Missed the first rep. And it just felt a little heavy. And then went up, made it, and it was all good. Then for clean and jerks, I just needed to get a little bit heavier, so I went 140, 145, 150, and then 155. So that was my top single for the week. Uh, overall, okay. Had the jerk block behind me for jerk jail. Been in jerk jail ever since, and uh, the jerks felt rough. They were not feeling great, but we got in, got out. Then for the last day, the strength and technique day, uh, no foot snatches went pretty good. Got up to 110 no foot snatch. And then the clean and jerk technique work was, was solid. Pretty happy with it.